Hi everyone, it's Plant Mama Tatiana. I am here in beautiful sunny Florida and I'm going to show you all the plants on my mom's patio. Most of the plants on the patio are house plants and it does get shade with some nice morning light, which you can kind of see that early morning afternoon light here as well. So a lot of these are typically like house plants and they just thrive being outside with the humidity and the light versus being inside, which is nice. And there are also a lot of outdoor flowers and plants here as well, which might not survive at all inside in a normal place that is in Florida. So let's just get started with what's on the table right now. So we can start from here. This is a little succulent garden. I actually recorded a video of myself making this succulent garden. It went so bad that I just did not post it at all. But here is the succulent garden. It's actually grown a lot, which is really nice. We've got Mother of Thousands in here, some other succulents, some ruby necklaces, some snake plants. So it's just a nice little hodgepodge of plants. Here you have, I forgot what this is, some sort of, I don't, it's not a Dracenia, but I'm blanking on the name of this, but this is also a propagation and it's really pretty. It's going really nicely in this cute little pot. Here we have the jewel orchids. So these are expanding really nicely. I also have some of these. My mom saved some of these that we got from Lifeaholic, which I unboxed in a video a little bit, or it's been a while now. And these have grown really nicely, really big. They spread out like that. So I love the color there. This is another propagation of a plant. I, is this a philodendron? I actually don't know anymore, but you can see it's actually a really long one piece here. It was actually a single leaf or a node cutting. So, oh my God. Did you know it was growing out from underneath? Did you know that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's actually growing from underneath because I think it was a node and it just found its way out. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to repot this or something. You can cut them. I know, that's so cool. But we could definitely propagate these. These are all nodes and aerial roots in places that can be cut. You can see these are aerial roots like crazy. So. We just have this looped up in here, but that is so funny that it's growing out from under there. Super cool that this has grown really nicely. Here we have the Hoya, the part that my mom stayed with. So this is all new growth, which is super fun. And this here is more old growth that hopefully will push out some new growth soon. But I also have this plant as well that we split up. I think my favorite thing here is this Alocasia Morocco. Now you might recognize this plant because it was originally my plant. I had this in New York City and it did not survive. I left it for a little bit and it just got really dry and it wasn't doing well and it was just the bulbs and maybe one leaf and I thought, you know what, if anyone can rehab this plant and it's my mom and it's in Florida and this has completely sprung back. Look at all of these beautiful big leaves. I cannot even kid you when I told you all that was left was one little leaf just like this. So it's really nice to see it's gotten so big, which is having that humidity, that sun in Florida. Those can come back from the bulb. I did know that with alocasia, so I'm really glad to see that it worked. This is the rosemary bush that has also been rehabbed by my mom. I got this and did a Instagram live video with this plant and cooked with it. And it just was not doing well in my apartment, obviously. So she has it outside and is able to keep this growing with a lot of new growth smells delicious so i'm really glad to see that this has survived being in florida having lots of sun i think my next favorite plant is this purple waffle plant this was another one that was just a propagation it was so little and look how i have to lift it up because you can see just how big it has gotten and how much it has flown and grown down and it's just so cool that this could be a hanging plant now for sure i'm definitely going to take a cutting of this and bring it back with me to new york and propagate it so that I can get a beautiful plant like this as well. But this is that purple waffle plant, so pretty. Oh my gosh, just noticed that the purple waffle plant is flowering, so pretty. Oh my gosh, so cute, I love it. Back here we have this lavender plant. Now, if you see the detail on these flowers, you will just be amazed. I mean, it's so delicate, so beautiful. I love this plant and it smells amazing too. So this is really, really pretty on the table, getting lots of light here in this southern facing spot. So lots of good light in the day. And then here is the 
Christmas cactus, which is getting some good light. Mine is completely dead and New York just has not survived, unfortunately. So let's keep moving around here. This is some jasmine that was also some lawn scraps that were thrown out and my mom saved it, propagated it. And look, you can see that there are blooms coming. It is a full own plant. It's so nice. So definitely if you see lawn scraps or trash, you can propagate it, you can grow it. It's so exciting. Here we have this jade, which also propagation. I'm glad that hers is surviving because my jade is not doing well in New York. So it's glad to see that some jade can survive. And here is another succulent. So pretty. This might be the mother of thousands. Yeah, yeah, this is the mother that. of thousands. They all look different. There's so many of them. But I love that it's getting that sunstress pink color, especially on these as well. You can see that they are sunstressed with some of that pink, but I think that is just gorgeous. I love the variety of color. It looks like a sunset. It's such a beautiful palette. So those are those mother of thousands. All propagations from the propagation that I started and got. So it's reproduced so much. You can see here, I really wanna show this one. These are the cactus that grew from seeds. So it's been a while now, over a year. Probably could move to a bigger container and separate them so they grow, but it's so cool to see that they actually did grow. I bet it's scary to get in there with all these prickles, but it's very fun to see those grow from nothing. I think that's pretty much the table except for this croton here, which I have a very similar one. I think this is the superstar croton, something like that or super splash or something i don't really remember but this was a gift from edward of course and we split it so that we could each have some and she has some and i have some in new york and hers is growing more than mine of course because it's florida but mine is still growing a lot too so that's exciting but that is doing super well now we have kind of the orchid and other things but mostly orchid plant stand so before we get to the orchids, let me start with the other things. So this is the Pilea peppermoides I gave my mom. Not doing super well, but hopefully it'll get a little more sun here. We have some beautiful aloe plants, lots of those. Some jade, which is really pretty. And growing, growing, growing. More than mine did again, mine died. I just don't have any luck with jade. And then we have this philodendron micans, which is stretching and growing and vining really nicely. I'm sure this is very long normally. And look at this Sansevieria. This started as one little stick and now there's three. It's so cool because again, this is just a little broken piece that fell and it started to root. This is really cool. This begonia, I absolutely love. You know, I love begonias, but this grew from a leaf. It was a propagation, one little leaf that did an indeed root and has started to grow and it's its own plant. It has even flowered, you can see some of those. Looks like a typical begonia flower, but look, I love the veins of this plant. This is really pretty. I just love begonias. And let's go to the orchids finally because I called it the orchid shelf. So here we have, I'm gonna pull some out so you can see them. This is this orchid that I showed you all that I cut from the original plant. So first of all, I got this off the side of the road because it was like free, take me please. And it was a stick and I cut it off the little cakey of this plant and now it has grown three little sticks. So I think this was the original plant that was cut. And then here are these three. So it's grown a lot. It's really exciting to see and hopefully one day that will grow. And here is the stick. The stick that people said, throw it away, nothing will grow from it. Look at that, there is a little bit of growth here, a little bit of something. It's just cool to see that everything can have a new life. And I think these could be removed from the plant as well, these cake leaves and planted up. So that's really cool. And then we have more orchids down here that are about to bloom. So this has a spike growing flower spike so that's really cool there's another orchid back there and there are some orchids here so nothing blooming right now but they're all working there's some roots there is another spike on that orchid phalaenopsis so it's really cool to see that there are so many great growth happening in the orchid side here we have this philodendron that I think it might be like the cardinal or something like a ruby. I have a similar one in New York that I just got actually, and then an air plant here that's doing well. So 
so this is another one that I just love, a coleus. I love the lime green color on this. It's so bright and vibrant. This is this teddy bear vine, which has actually done really well. Look how long these, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice how long this was. Look how long these vines are. This is just really cool to see. And it's nice and full up here as well. So I can tell that this is just really doing well because it was not doing that well before. Now we have the silver pothos, which is not correct name, but it's actually a skin dapsis. And this is doing way better than mine is doing as well. This is a plant that we both took some cuttings of. And this is a really long vine that is wrapped up here. Here we have the Maranta, the lemon lime Maranta. Again, hers is doing better than mine, Maranta. Hers has grown a lot more than mine has, just having a lot of really nice and direct light in this area. Um, what else? We have some of these orchids that I gave to my mom in Florida so she would have better luck with them just because at the end of the day, some things like it better in Florida. So this is the Oh Sherry Baby Sweet Fragrance. So it's grown a lot more than it ever did in my apartment, which is nice to see, but hopefully they do bloom. We have some propagations here that are ready to be planted. This is the coleus and you can see, look at all these roots, super cool. And here we have the Monstera, which is doing nicely, kind of in this little corner here, but so far doing really well. The leaves have gotten really nice and big. I think the last plant I wanna show in this area is this philodendron burl marks. So my mom actually just brought me a cutting in New York of this plant that I don't even know if I've shown it to you yet, but it is in my bathroom and it is thriving. It's growing really well. You can see this is a pretty easy plant to propagate. Another one that was grown from propagation and it's super cool that it has so many of these roots. This is a new leaf, glossy and pretty. So that's doing so well. I mean, look how tall it is. Can you see it? It's gotten so big. I wanted this whole thing and she said she liked it so much that I couldn't have it back. So I have a cutting of it now. But that's pretty much this area. Oh, and then the begonias up here. Oh, the monstera. There's the monstera here, the aloe. Here are these, I think it's kind of cool. I want to take this out these plants that I'm not really sure what it is. I'm waiting for one of y'all to identify it for me. I have this in New York, but this is just growing so much more than what mine was doing. And it's just gotten really big and cool. And it's starting to look a lot like a different plant. And maybe we can ID this now, now that it has starting to grow these kind of long, thin leaves. It's very cool compared to the original mother plant that was propagated from so i'm hoping that we can i do this soon but this is so cool as a hanging plant and this last one that i want to show is the cebu blue so this is another plant that i left my mom with some of it and guess what hers is doing better than mine as per usual i mean look how long this is okay Mine is like three leaves right now and barely surviving. So I think I need to replicate the condition she's giving it, which is some nice morning light. But I mean, I'm, I am think I'm gonna have to cut these parts off and propagate them. Look how long this root is on this leaf. This whole leaf rooted. These could all be propagated and planted as their own plants and even filled into the top to make a nice full plant. But it's so nice to see that this is so long and so pretty and Cebu Blue, that's actually doing really well. And of course, this was sent as a cutting from Sarah from Soil Plant, who very generously sent this. And look, my mom's is doing better than mine, but you have spread the love to many people. Thank you, Sarah. So this is that plant. I am definitely jealous, and I'm probably gonna take a couple more cuttings from this plant to my plant to give it a second life, to give it a second wind and give it a chance. But I'm just wrapping that up in there so we can deal with that later. The Last things I wanna show are the big plants. So we've got the pothos here, which we staked up on this. We had cut it because it was extremely root bound and it was just dying because those roots were cut, which was kind of a mistake, but it has bounced back, which is cool to see. So we threaded it up this post here, um, extended that little moss pole and it has really started to grow up it and do really, really well. This side looks so nice if you look here this pothos. I wish my pothos looked like this, 
but I have it as a hanging plant. Well, I have it as a wall mounted plant now, actually. You've seen that. But yeah, it's very cool to see. And then the last plant slash plant is this one, which was also another trash plant. Someone threw that away and said they didn't want it anymore. And my mom said, I will take it. So this one has just gotten really, really big. I think, what is this, a Dracenia, maybe? Some sort of yucca, something like that, I don't really remember. But it's so pretty, it's so cool. It's just gotten so big. And of course, at the base, there are a ton of bromeliads growing here. So she just kind of stuck them here and they are thriving really as best as they can. They could use maybe a little more light to get more color, but it's just cool to see that they are doing so well. Thank you all so much for watching this video of my mom's patio plants. Let me know what your favorite plants are. Let me know which plants you're the most impressed by how much they've grown. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like all things plants and wanna see everything plant related, whether it's in New York or Florida. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.